first workshop of co-production in action. Personalised care is all about changing the way we deliver services in the NHS so that we actually deliver what matters to people and what's important to them. Because if we want to achieve what we set out to do, which is help people manage their conditions better and need less support from health and social care, that can only be done in communities. It cannot be done by the NHS and by social care. We're happy to provide some pots of money which will give you an opportunity to try and put your ideas into practice. So what we're doing is an experimental process of whether or not communities can work together in relation to a project. So what we've done at the beginning is we brought people together to talk about a certain different projects regarding the Core 20 plus 5. These issues are health inequality. As we work as agile workers, what I'm hoping to get out of today, as we've got a lot of properties in Lancashire, and I'm not based here, is to meet some local people because part of our charity is not only around supporting the customers we have, but the communities they live in to make sure they are a part of those communities. <laughs> Today is to get those projects ready for the bid writing essentially. I think it's it's quite um, it's exciting. It's new. It's different, uh, and I'm glad to be part of it. I think coming together with the NHS and, and you know them delivering this service to the local community in the volunteer sector, I think it's going to work great, and I'm really excited to be involved. Well, we're we planning on delivering 12 week like a transformation program, but there is a twist. So we wish to offer different activities, so physical, online, um, as well as face-to-face, -face, and improving your mindset, um, becoming fitter, stronger, more confident, more resilient. So we're offering different sessions within the week for a 12-week period. So our mission statement is empower females to create a stronger mindset through physical activity and various different sessions. Thank you very much. For the pilot, it starts off as a short-term piece of work that you're looking at and that's about collecting your evidence, making sure you can prove that this is a really, really good piece of work. It's when you move into the next stage when you go, right, this pilot's been absolutely amazing. People's health and well-being are improving. How do we move forward from that and how do we get into the next stage? It's, it's a culture change for the NHS. It's about doing things in a different way that moves us from, I suppose, fixing people to having a shared responsibility that helps people look after their own health and well-being. Um, so today we're going to be doing a workshop on funding because I believe that you all have to do a pitch for your funding for your project. When you're in a pitch, you know, that is a really great test as to whether or not you can perform under pressure, which is really important when you're going to be delivering a project for that person to know whether or not when the pressure is on, you know, can you deliver or are you going to crumble to pieces. Preparing answers to the questions that are likely to be asked. So hopefully over the course of this workshop, you might have already started to think, they're probably going to ask me that, they're probably going to ask me that, I better make sure that I know the answer to that. So the problem is, um, so we're targeting deprived areas in Blackburn and Darwin and South Asian ladies. Uh, we, delivered, so we did some questionnaires in Blackburn and Darwin during COVID. The outcome was obesity, body image, depression, anxiety. Uh, and these people do not access NHS services until things get more serious. So the solution is, is a preventative, preventative project. We have tested physical activity and it has proven to be a success. This is a core produced solution with people and we are due to offer yoga, walking, football, education, uh, nutrition advice, diabetes advice, um, and do taster sessions. So the delivery of this, we're going to be delivering five sessions over 12 weeks um, at different community centres, and it's scientific, scientifically proven. Um, if you do something for 12 weeks, you see and feel the difference. The outcome is that people become more confident, resilient, sociable, make new friends, weight loss, improve body image. This will reduce the medication that one if you're under depression and also um, the reduce the waiting list for the NHS which will reduce that. <laughs> we need to show that you are connected yeah. to other things. You're, you're unique in what you're doing mm -hmm. and you're filling a gap but you have a whole range of I suppose of other organisations around you that will be supporting you I think is, yeah. is, is, is what could do to yeah. come in. Yeah.
developer. What we want to do is involve you in designing what works for the people that you work with on a day-to-day -day basis. What's great about the projects that we've got is that because of the position that people are in communities and their um, ability to work with people with lived experience is that what we're seeing today is an element of how they can co-produce better on that individual outcome but also really start to think about how we co-produce <coughs> strategy and policy better so that, that when we, we design services as a whole um, that they better meet the needs of the people in the communities that we're trying to um, serve. So I have the knowledge the skill, the ability, the determination and the passion to transform people's lives. Not just physically, but mentally, emotionally and psychologically. A lot of people in the community, from the, you know, when you have a problem, not mentally or physically, you go to the doctor. Why? Why do we keep going to the doctor? Why do we not just look onto Google? Why do we not speak to your neighbour? Why do we not speak to an organisation? Because there's always alternative therapy, there's always other things that we can do. So I work at Places for People and I am the team leader for the National Customer Support Team. My team obviously works nationally and we offer support for wellbeing, we offer support for employability, for digital inclusion and I also line manage a BBO team and what's really exciting about those guys is they are all working really hard in Lancashire and are really focused on the Blackburn area at the minute. So what that means is we have got feet in the ground um, working with people who are in need of wellbeing support, mindset work, confidence building, and we are going to be able to refer those people straight into the Transform Your Life programme. So we want to be able to extend that out just because I think this is, it just has such great potential in my opinion, and I'm really passionate about it. So I have done the presentation today and it went really, really well. I was so nervous. I've been planning for the last couple of days. I remember looking in the mirror, actually speaking to myself, um, but it went fantastic and I'm so excited to hear what the um, panel has to say. I think the process we're learning from these individuals is great and hopefully we're adding some value to what they're doing as well. This has been a fantastic experience to be able to meet such you know, amazing people. We've done a lot of collaboration and come to, coming to this point has been a fantastic opportunity. So whether we win or lose, in my heart, I've won. Um, the panel has been deliberating. I know it's been uh, difficult for them, but I hear they have um, come to a conclusion. The white smoke has just been released <laughs> from the chimney. We would like to say yes for 10 grand. I'd also be happy to give you some commercial advice on this. That keeps you in the game, but it also, if you're in the game, there's another opportunity for further funding from the council, potentially, because you're in the game. But you've got five new supporters and advocates and you really do need to come back to us and we can help you grow and sustain and learn from this experience to take it on to the next step. So I just want to say don't be backwards in coming forwards really and uh, you know, congratulations to you all but for us it's just been a brilliant day. The immediate next steps will be to work with each of you as a group to tighten up where we are, to tighten up that money side of it to bring in that outer ring of partners that can help make it happen. This is a preventative project to really help the NHS reduce the queues and support people in the community around education, around menopause, obesity, long-term health conditions and what they can do to help themselves. So we have decided to offer a 12-week transformation programme which involves education sessions, physical sessions, mental well-being and meditation. We have successfully delivered four workshops around menopause and that was thoroughly, all the women were thoroughly impressed. We had Julie, our instructor, who is also going through menopause and has done massive amount of research through the research at UCLan University and and how the education around this has helped people sort of understand a little bit more about menopause. We are currently delivering a six weeks chair yoga as well as nutrition advice at Bangor Street Community Centre. This has been fully booked, we've had 20 people booked on both sessions and we are fully impressed with the amount of people that are wanting to attend our classes. One of the advantages that we have as an organisation is we are multilingual. So um, we are translating all the sessions for in Urdu and Gujarati for everybody to participate and understand the sessions. The feedback has been phenomenal. Women have made 
we're all women from different backgrounds have come along. They've made friends and they love this social activity that we have going in the community. This has really helped women's well-being, the ones that are isolated, the ones that are vulnerable, and especially after lockdown, it's been very hard for people. So this has given them an opportunity. We have offered these for free. However, in the future, we may have to charge a small nominal fee due to sustaining the projects. Because after phase one, we are looking at phase two, which is recruiting the volunteers. We will then upskill our volunteers on our volunteering program, and hopefully they can then run these sessions to sustain the project going forward. We would just like to say thank you so much for the NHS and Places for People for giving this as opportunity to be able to deliver a fantastic service within the community. The project title is Transform for Life, the route to heal yourself before healing others.